The stock market is going up and down like crazy lately. It's hard to predict what's going to happen next. Are you feeling uneasy? Well, I am too. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. How to stay calm as an investor in the midst of a financial crisis. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from the Marriage, Kids & Money podcast, and on this channel, we are all about strengthening your family tree so you can live financially free. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and please hit that bell to get notified when the next video comes out. Okay, so let's talk about investing in a crisis. Now, I was an investor during the last recession, but my tiny 401k balance at that time was the last thing I was worried about at 27 years old. I was too busy playing in a cover band and chasing the woman of my dreams. Luckily enough, I ended up marrying her. <laughs> With this new downturn, I wonder if I'll keep the same carefree attitude. As a long-term investor, I'm supposed to feel comfortable not knowing what will happen next. I set a plan years ago, and I'm supposed to stick to it in good times and in bad. In theory, all will turn out well in the end. Now, in an attempt to convince myself that I should pay more attention to my family and my health instead of the stock market, I've outlined five reasons that I should stay calm and stick to my investing plan. So let's do this. Number one, realize retirement is far away. This market downturn is gonna be a blip in our overall investment journey. We have at least 25 years until we actually need our retirement investments. So unless this market downturn lasts decades, we're gonna be just fine. Our last bull market lasted 11 years. Given that the last recession lasted 18 months, I think we can withstand some lows because you know what, the highs, they're coming. Check out this chart that shows the S&P 500 performance over the last 90 years, the last nine decades. You can see that the activity as of late is pretty typical. We go up for a long time, then we go down for hopefully a shorter time. But if we keep riding the roller coaster and don't jump off, then we'll be okay in the long run. Number two, practice dollar cost averaging. Even if we're experiencing some lows in the stock market right now, this is the time for us to keep buying. That's why we practice dollar cost averaging. Now that's buying new investment shares at a regular schedule throughout the year. By doing dollar cost averaging, we're always buying. This allows us to relax and avoid the guesswork of trying to buy when the stock market has truly hit the bottom. I believe that's a game no one can really win. Number three, stay diversified. As near 40-somethings, we have a diversified portfolio. We're investing in stocks, bonds, real estate, and we have a lot of cash on hand as well. So if the stock market continues to go down, we're not solely relying on the performance of equities. Yes, we have the majority of our funds in equities, but with our long-term investing horizon, any decrease in the value of our shares shouldn't bother us because, you know what? this too shall pass. Number four, buying low is fun. <laughs> Since we're debt-free, mortgage-free, and we got a 12-month emergency fund in cash, we feel pretty comfortable with investing right now. Our expenses are low, we can hunker down, and we can stay at home during this quarantine time and take advantage of any deals the stock market has for us. For example, one of the index funds I invest in is the Vanguard 500 Index Admiral Shares, which is VFIAX. On February 19th, 2020, VFIAX sold for its 52-week high of $313.28 per share. Then, on March 23rd, 2020, VFIAX sold for its 52-week low of $206.42. I was very happy to be buying VFIAX through dollar cost averaging during this sale time. The last time it had seen a low share price like that was 2016. All right, number five, we only lose when we sell. While it might feel tempting to sell when I see the stock market nosediving, I know that's the wrong move for us. 
I have to realize that we're not actually losing any money at all when our investment balances decrease, only the value of our shares are just lower. So with that mindset, if we stay the course, not only are we not losing money, we're getting a chance to increase the number of shares we own if we keep buying. In short, don't sell and keep buying. Got it, Andy? Yes, yes, I got it. All right, so let's talk about the difference between carefree and care less. I'm trying to ride a fine line between paying attention to our family's finances, but not paying attention too much, right? Stressing about things I have no control over is futile. While there is nothing I can do about the overall stock market performance, I can be proactive and do the following. Number one, stay at home. Yeah, this national and global call for everyone to flatten the curve is up to us. Our family is doing our best to stay at home and make the best of this new normal. Number two, wash our hands surgeon style. 20 seconds is now the new 10 seconds for me. I'm going to have the cleanest, cleanest hands in the world after this coronavirus season is over. Number three, reduce unnecessary expenses. Our major concern is available cash to get through these tough times. We are decreasing our spending on the non-essential stuff right now. So we're feeling comfortable just in case we completely lose our income. Number four, give back. I'm thinking a lot about charities I've interviewed on my podcast lately. Feeding America and Together We Rise. Those are two organizations that come to mind right away. Just like dollar cost averaging for investing, we'll continue to donate to charities who need it most right now. And then number five, be there for my family. Family comes first for me. I'm gonna to continue to remind myself of that as well when my mind wanders to what could happen or what's gonna, what's gonna happen next. I need to remember to focus on what I can control. Being a good husband and a good father is a great place to start. But enough about me, I'd love to hear from you. What are you doing to stay calm as an investor during this global pandemic? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you like what you heard today, do me a favor and please click the like button. It'll make me smile and then I'll create some more videos. <laughs> this is Andy Hill from the Marriage, Kids and Money podcast signing off. Carpe diem.